Hi, and welcome to this new video about YubiKey, where I'm showing you what you can do with the YubiKey 5 series, okay? It seems absolutely equal to the basic, uh, the basic one, but it has much more functionality. And we will explore with the new software, Yubico Authenticator. If we're going to compare with the basic key, when I uh, press USB and I'm loaded the my uh, new YubiKey 5 NFC, you see you have more menu. And you have always the pass key section and okay. And sometimes the software goes into an error. I type the pin, oh, sorry. I type the pin and it show all the pass key. This is absolutely equal to the latest video. You have the change pin, but you have also the option for managing certificates. This key has no certificates. And certificates is something that a, a software developer, programmer and more advanced user um, uses. And uh, this is a functionality only for the five series. And you have pin, book, and you have management key. And as you can see, the software immediately tells you that it's a warning. You have the default pin used because this is a brand new key I have for testing. And so I never change the pin. And so you can click and you can, ha the, the, the software automatically set you the current pin because it's the default one. And so it does not require you to type the current pin. You can change simply because it is the default one. You can type the new pin and go on. So everything is, is simple and you can go and um, work with the certificate. And this is important because uh, it, the old Yubico manager has not all the functions. So you can work with certificate directly from this interface. It's very simple. Like uh, as an example, if you want to have a, digi a digital signature, you can generate key, you can import file directly from here. And so you have all the option usually is, is always generate a key and where you select the algorithm and the certificate, etc. So that's advanced stuff. I don't want to bother you. And also it can configure the uh, long touch because the Yubico 5 series has uh, the ability to long press the central slot and it will add this, the central button, and it will generate a different stuff from the first slot. I, I show you and you find in the description, the link, I show you how you can use OTP, HOTP to secure a key pass XC um, database, or you can, you, uh, you can set a static credential. So when you long press your YubiKey, it will be uh, work, it will work like a keyboard typing a series of uh, a static password. You can use the challenge response or you can have a Yubico OTP. So I've covered this in my old video and, but you can see how easy it is to go to one of this application and uh, go into and uh, generate or, or copy the key. And that's, it's uh, everything you need to do, but you need to know about I have one thing you need to know because the Yubico 5 series has a unique capability from the base card that I uh, find useful even if you are a non-developer and it's count. Let's see what does it means. When you click accounts, you see that you have some accounts and you see a six digit number. And this is to work with the standard way of two factor authentication. That one that show you a QR code you take a picture of the QR code with your phone, and then the uh, seed of the two-factor authentication is stored inside your phone. I have a dedicated video link below in the description that show you how you can use the Yubico Authenticator application in your phone to store the QR code seed, the seed that inside the QR code in your YubiKey instead on your telephone. And this is an enormous advantage. First, you can store in more than one key, so your two-factor authentication code is back it up. Second, it's much more easy because you don't need your phone. You don't. You can use the phone of another person. You can use a computer because if you plug your um, your key, as you see, in to, into your computer, you can immediately uh, find the code. Okay, so you can just take the code and, and copy into your application without needed your phone, without even need to take your phone. So that is really interesting capability. And I think that this is the only capability that the five series has more than the basic key. 
that is interesting for common people, not only to developer. All the other certificate and slot are useful mainly for developers. Now, let's see how easy it is to store a QR code inside your UBC Authenticator. So as an example, that's my test account. I have my security and for every application that does not natively support FIDO2 passkey, I know passkey are widely deployed right now at the time of today, but there are still applications sites that only offer you the QR code, the old authenticator Google still offer. So if you press setup authenticator now, it asks you to scan the QR code. So what I simply need to do is just go to my Ubico authenticator and add account. And if the QR code is present in the screen, I can scan, I can press scan QR code. And this application takes a screenshot of my screen, identify every um, QR code that is uh, an authenticator app and it uh, recognizes it. And actually it tells you to, um, to insert inside your YubiKey. Uh, you can, uh, uh, the, the only option you can have is you want to require touch. And sometimes uh, I, I don't think it's uh, needed, but if you want, you can um, require touch, okay? And you press save. And so now I have my Google and this is the code. So if I press next, it asks me to um, verify the code. So I copy the code to clipboard and I'm pasting inside the, the YubiKey and it verify code and here we are. So actually with a few click, we enable a two factor authentication with the standard QR code, but the code it's inside, it's instead of being stored in a cell phone is stored inside my YubiKey. It's much more secure, trust me. But usually my proceeding is a, a little bit different to have maximum security. And this is a, a suggestion I'm giving to you. When you are to set up an authenticator for everything, for every site, you do wanna need the backup, okay? And it's true, the vast majority of sites has also recovery code and so on, but you need to a backup. And the backup is simply the picture of this QR code. So the first thing things I'm doing since I work in Windows is using the snipping tool to get a screenshot of this. Once I have this a screenshot of my QR code uh, for my account in a snipping tool, I'm usually saving it into a secure location. And the secure location is usually an archive, a KPAS archive or a Bitwarden archive or one password. And the important thing is I suggest you not to store the QR code of a two-factor authentication in the same uh, password credential program in which you have the password for the account. Because in case of compromising the software you're using, the attacker gets both the password and both the two-factor authentication. So usually I use a separated key pass protected by a different password and protected also by a YubiKey. And now to verify that this screenshot is usually okay, I can scan QR code again and it will need to find the code. And if you, if, if you see, I press scan QR code, but nothing happened. And that is because the snipping tool, it's probably a special tool in Windows that does not allow to be screenshotted. And uh, how can you solve the problem in this situation? Well, it's simple. Um, you can simply uh, save this QR code some, somewhere. Once your seed is saved to a folder of your computer, you can simply drag and drop directly on the home page and you can add account. Let's check require touch to see what's different. And as you can see, for all the account where you uh, select require touch, the account, the seed is not used automatically. So instead of looking and seeing all the two-factor authentication code automatically, you need to check, you need to select the single account and you need to press calculate. And so I need to touch the key and then I can copy to clipboard. Then I get, it go back to my Google Authenticator page. I press next. I'm entering the code. I can press verify and everything is okay. So as you can see, it's very simple. And this way of proceeding has several benefits. First, it will enforce, it will give you the uh, useful 
um, a good um, behavior of instead of simply take a picture of your photo with Google Authenticator to take a screenshot of the QR code, storing the QR code in someplace secure. And when you store the QR code in someplace secure, you can easily extract the QR code again from your Secure Vault, and then you can program other YubiKeys. So you can transfer all of your two-factor authentication, uh, authentication code into a new YubiKey. It's maybe you are you both a uh, nano key always inserted in your laptop. So the thing you can do is, oh, I want all the code in my nano key. You simply go to your um, Vault software, extract all the QR code, drag and drop one after another onto the Yubico Authenticator application, and everything is back operational to the new key. And another very good and easily and, 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 and easy way to work with this, it's the vast majority of time I'm using the um, the, appli the application in my computer and whenever a site asks me for the two-factor authentication, I need to take my phone, unlock my phone, open Google Authenticator, take a picture, and with the Ubico Authenticator, I can simply open the application and decode us there. The only thing is if some account has touch required, I just need to press the key, but the operation is very, very simple and it's really, really easy to do. So I'm strongly suggest you, if you bought a five series card, not miss this opportunity to use the YubiKey also for storing the old type two-factor authentication codes because it's really, really important and you have a more secure, um, uh, your security posture, it will be stronger because it's practically impossible to extract the seed from the YubiKey. You don't, uh, you don't have problem if your phone get lost. You don't have the question like, if I change my phone, does all the code uh, will be transferred to my new phone automatically? It's not a problem. It brings the good, uh, the good behavior of saving the QR code inside the secure vault. You will have your two-factor authentication on multiple YubiKeys. So even if in the case of YubiKey got lost, you have other one to work and you have a nice software that can generate the code for you even in your computer directly from the application without anything fancy required. So I think this functionality of YubiKey is really, really important and it's one of my favorite. Bye-bye.